Enjoy the show, folks. I hope you have a good day. Yes, um, several announcements. Of course, all of our athletic events in the fall are, are beginning. Um, we got a home football game this Friday night. Um, JV football is going to a jamboree. We have volleyball that's on the road, I think, Tuesday and home on Wednesday. Um, cross country and tennis are kicking up, so they'll be starting here in the next few weeks. So um, please come out and support those um, events. We also have several things going on with our um, um, guidance counselors as well as our career facilitators. Um, so one thing I would like to say is um, check your social media sites, check your email students, um, check Instagram, we'll try to put things out on Twitter, um, make sure our, our websites are up to date, okay? Um, so make sure we're kind of following those social media outlets so we can keep up with things that are happening. Okay. And is there any possible like dangerous trends that you've been noticing popping up that should be noted? Um, yes, um, so we have a, a couple trends. One's dangerous, one's not dangerous. One's going to be harmful to your grades, right? Um, we're passing out devices this week, right? So that's 6th through 12th grade, everybody's going to have their own laptop um, with a bag and a charger. Making sure we're keeping up with those, making sure you're not laying them around. Um, because you got to have those to turn in your assignments. So that's, that's one important thing that we have to have. Everybody's growing up, we're getting older, um, and with that comes more responsibility as far as keeping up with things that we need for our classes. Um, one thing that's really disturbing me, and, and this has been a pandemic in sorts of its own, is the use of vapes um, within the school, right? So um, we have to do something. Students are not just using the, the vapes with a the nicotine, they're using ones with THC in them. Uh, marijuana. Um, now, of course, we don't condone any of that, right? So coming to school, um, not on your best on the daily, right, um, is something that we're after. And then also um, being safe. So parents, if you're listening to this, talk to your parent, um, your students about the about the importance of not vaping. Um, we're doing it as teachers. We're doing it as administration. Um, but that is a big pandemic in itself, and it, I don't think our young people realize the dangers in what they're doing. Um, it's not just smoking a cigarette these days, right? So I don't think they realize the dangers, um, and that's what scares me. So that's what I'm concerned about. All right. Any last parting regards that you may want to let the Wolverines know? Oh, no. Go Wolverines. Man, look, I'm glad to be here. Um, it's a great day to be a Wolverine. Um, so I chose Hunter to be my student of the week because honestly, first of all, he is like my teacher's assistant. Um, especially with math, he is like a pro. Um, and I admit that I'm not very good at math, but Hunter is always willing to help. He really has a strength um, when it comes to math and just his willingness to help. I really appreciate that. Um, so I love having him. And he was also uh, Miss Ashley's um, student of the week too. I found that out too. We all know him. All right, so how well does he perform in his class with you? Oh, he's great. He's a rock star. What would you say, Hunter? I mean, are you a rock star? Mm -hmm. He's an absolute rock star, yeah. So he can't miss any school because that's how much I need him. There. All right, so what is your name? Mary Catherine Jordan. And what is your name? Johnson. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. subject to teach? My favorite to teach is geometry. Um, I love how visual it is and I feel like it's the most um, relatable to the real world, mm -hmm. um, which is a lot of times the biggest question that kids have in math is how does my life do my life with the real world and um, the shapes and buildings and construction and all that stuff is so, uh, uses geometry so much. Yeah. Did you see yourself becoming a teacher when you were our age? No. Mm -hmm. No, I did not. I had to be convinced that I should be a teacher. My parents always instilled in me to reach for the stars and make lots of money because none of my parents, uh, or nobody in the family had ever graduated from college. So I was thinking big, like engineer, doctor, or stuff yeah. like that. But I kept changing my major over and over and over again and kept feeling like it just wasn't right, just wasn't right, just wasn't right. So I was so confused. And finally, enough people in my life as a college student 
were telling me I should be a teacher and why, and they were giving lots of good examples yeah. um, that were personal to me. And finally, I was like, you know what? I, I, I should probably be a teacher, and it's more important to do something that you love um, than to make lots of money. Because I do know people who make lots of money, and they are not very happy. Yeah. They don't enjoy what they do, and so I didn't want to have to wake up every day and hate what I do. You know? so. Thank you for your time. And we're here with Coach Barron. What do you think we can build on, Coach Barron? Um, we can build on um, getting more depth at every position, um, getting to the football on defense, and also blocking better um, and improve the passing game. Okay. Thank you, Coach Barron. Thank you. Yeah. Go. Okay, Coach Scotty, how is the Jamboree, and what do you think we can build on? I thought we played hard in the Jamboree. You know, like I, our young linemen are young, and they're adjusting to it. They're having to play both ways and all. And, but as far as the effort and all that, I'm very pleased with the Jamboree. You know, it's just a scrimmage game. People make a lot out of scrimmages in Jamboree, but to us, it's just to get better. We'll find out how good the Jamboree and scrimmages were at the end of this year as the season progresses. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. How do you think we're going to do against Louisville this upcoming Friday? I think it's going to be good. Um, I think we're going to play hard and we're going to compete, and our guys are going to give us a chance to win as long as we execute. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, man. What's your name and what do you teach here at East Clarendon? My name is Carrie Yard. I teach Computer Science Essentials, which is the computer science credit most kids are needing to graduate. I teach Personal Finance, and I also teach Digital Desktop Publishing. How do you feel about the new mobiles and having to wait to move into them? I'm excited about the new mobiles. I'm ready to move into them like yesterday, but we're making do with what we have right now. It's working. We're gonna, we're gonna make it work till we get there. How long have you been teaching? I've taught six years. This is going on my seventh year now. I came into this late. I was a business major that worked at a surveying company, and then I made a life change. I decided I wanted to work with students. How has the school year been for you so far? So far, pretty good. It's balancing out. We had some really big class sizes to begin with, and we've gotten down to a good class size. The students are finally falling into a pattern, and we're doing good. What are the highs and lows of being a teacher? Highs, when somebody gets it, when it makes sense, when you can see the light bulb go off and it clicks. Lows, when I know something's going on with the students and I can't reach them. When something's going on and you know it and there's nothing you can do about it. Thank you for letting us interview you. Thank you.